Hello students, uh, welcome to the School of uh, Applied Applied Sciences. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Mark Kimadi, I'm the Dean of the school. So I'll take you through the school as I welcome you into the, the school for your studies. So I'll begin with the overview of the school. Uh, the school was set up to enable the university to effectively uh, conduct uh, teaching and research in the field of uh, mathematics, chemistry, physics, and biology. Uh, our mission in the school is to offer data training uh, through practicals, research, and innovations. Uh, currently, we have a population of 1,126 students. We are expecting from your cohort uh, 214 students. Uh, of which uh, 47 are female. The structure of the school is that uh, it has three departments, uh, each headed by a chair of a department. So the, we have the Department of uh, Mathematics and Statistics that is uh, chaired by Dr. Stanley Rotich. We also have the Department of uh, Physical Sciences that is uh, chaired by Dr. Elizabeth Mdunda, and we have the chair, uh, the Department of uh, Biological Sciences that is uh, chaired by uh, Dr. Japheth Krago. We have highly qualified academic staff within the school. So we have three full professors, uh, one in the field of analytical chemistry, and another one in statistics, and the third one is in the field of uh, actuarial sciences. We have 15 PhD holders within the school. Uh, five of them are in the field of mathematics. One is in statistics. Three are in chemistry. Uh, two in physics and four in biological sciences. A majority of the staff obtained their uh, PhD degrees uh, from abroad and they are leaders in their area of specialization. So I would like to assure you that uh, you're in good hands and you receive the best of the training. The facilities within the school are uh, the school being uh, one that conducts uh, research in life sciences and uh, also physical sciences. So we have uh, laboratories uh, that are dedicated to chemistry, physics, and biology. And these laboratories, they are well equipped with uh, specialized equipment, like the one you can see over there. We also have highly qualified and experienced uh, technologists who will be uh, with you uh, when you'll be carrying out the practicals. And they are able to do uh, the experiments uh, safely, so you'll be in safe hands when you're within those laboratories. So you can see uh, one of our technicians here uh, taking the students through some uh, lab practical. And also we have uh, three uh, technologists uh, with two of the uh, lecturers. Uh, once you take uh, our programs within the school, so what would you become? If you take the degree of applied and physics, uh, applied physics and technology, then you can be a lab technician, you can be a specialist in optics or lasers, you can also be a nanotechnologist, you can also become a geophysicist, you can also venture into renewable energy and become a specialist in that area, in solar, in uh, biogas, and also in the oil and those other uh, renewable uh, resources. You can also become a design engineer, especially when you do uh, the physics. Now, for those who, who will undertake a degree in analytical chemistry, so you can become a lab technician, you can also be a toxicologist, you can become a biochemist, you can be a nanotechnologist, a biotechnologist, 
You can also be a geophysicist or a specialist in forensics or a chemical engineer. So the list is endless. I'm just giving you a few of uh, what you can be so that now you define your career path early enough. Of course, with the help of the career office that uh, you'll be told about. There is also those who take the degree in mathematics and computer science. So for you, you can be a numerical analyst. Uh, once now you combine the mathematics with the computers, you can also become a software developer or a programmer. You can become a database manager, an information specialist, or computer networks specialist, among others. Now, those who will pursue a degree in statistics and programming, you can be a biostatistician, a demographer, a market research analyst. You can also become a risk analyst, a bank credit manager, quality assurance analyst, uh, ETC. Those who are pursuing actuarial sciences, a degree in that, you can become a financial auditor, stock market analyst, a credit risk analyst, insurance policy specialist, or a quality assurance analyst. For those who pursue a degree in biology, uh, you can become a lab technician, a biotechnologist, a biochemist, you can become a zoologist, pharmacologist, a marine biologist, or a research scientist in life sciences and medical field, or you become a nature conservationist. So now, those are our programs. So I would like to say, as you begin your journey within Machakos University, that uh, time will be precious to you. So how you spend your time uh, from now henceforth will actually determine uh, your, su your success rate in future. So I would like to uh, give you a parting shot and say that you spend your time wisely, uh, spend your time with uh, the right uh, group of people, try to avoid peer pressure, and you focus on your studies. We have a lot of uh, support uh, services within the university that can help you and guide you in your career path and also within your academic journey, within the university. So we have uh, uh, services uh, such as the career office. We also have um, the, we also have the dean of the, of the students together with the staff there. There is also the counselors who are qualified counselors to counsel you along the journey and there are so many other support offices that can help you. So please manage your time well. And I would like to welcome you into the school and enjoy your studies. And please uh, learn and learn and become great leaders of this country. Thank you.